Hello guys, welcome back. Today I am here for some more F1 2020 My Team and it is for the Chinese Grand Prix, yes, round four. Now I have driven quite well around China before and other times not so much so it's a little bit of on on uh, an on and off track for me of sometimes i do well sometimes i don't but generally i do rather well so going straight into activities now i'm going to go for power team building uh although i lose five grand from it it does mean that i do get some uh powertrain like me more now I could get some advertisement, I could get a couple of things, earn me some resource points, lose some money, but I do go for the advertisement for the car, so I do gain, you know, quite a bit of money, and also I gain some team acclaim. Now, I finally have enough money to buy um, uh, something for the chassis department, and I will go with, of course, um, the time that it takes to actually make uh, stuff. So going now to the uh, R&D tree now, we are sort of level with Alvatari, but one of our aero um, upgrades have failed. So let's go and uh, put some resource, uh, resource points into it and let's now get it. So it should be here for the, just before the Chinese Grand Prix now. I'm also going to get a power upgrade. And you can see Haas, we will practically be possibly third with power so we will be pretty good again but you see it's really close i'm catching up to Renault and mclaren at this rate now let's go and advance the time a little bit further eighth okay we've done that and it's our first invitational event oh i'm so excited for this one oh it's our first invitational event as well and it's a checkpoint um challenge so, am I going to be fast enough for this challenge? I'm going to get 1,000 acclaim and at $150,000 for this one event. Now, let's try and see if I can try and build up and get the 7.8 kilometers I need to do. Here we go, starting off. Here we go. We've only got 30 seconds to get to the first checkpoint. Eek, turn one was a little bit slow. It's actually very slow for turn one. Coming through, am I going to do well enough? So this, here's the first checkpoint. We're going to get 16 seconds for that first checkpoint. And we've only just done one kilometre. Oh, we've, we've hardly gone anywhere right now. Here we are. We've done 3.5 kilometres. Coming towards the end of the first lap of this. Going on the grass a little bit. But another checkpoint. There we go. Four kilometres. Of course, this track is around four kilometres long. And we've... Of course, set fast slap with the only drive, but now am I going to be able to set and do that target distance? Oh, massive lock up there. Oh, that's going to affect my time a little bit. You see, very slowly just going around. Don't particularly have tons of speed at this current moment. You see, it's really the straights where I'm really just picking up a lot of distance. Look at how much I'm just gaining. It's coming really close now, locking up again. I'm really pushing right now just to get my car to go as fast as possible. I just don't want to lose out. Are we going to do We're going to do it. We've done it. Our target distance has been done. And there we go. We've passed the goal. That was really good. Now we're coming back to the headquarters now. That was a really good one. And we've earned 150,000 and 1,000 driver claim as well. So that that was really good of course still with our one extra sponsor but Still very good. Remember, Antoine Hubert was 64 overall rated, I believe. And now he's 65, so we're doing very well with Antoine Hubert. Now, that was very good. Looking at upgrades, still we haven't done that upgrade. Let's advance some more time. And are we going to get the upgrade? Yes, it has come through. The upgrade has worked, and we're here for the Chinese Grand Prix. But look at how much closer we're getting to... Uh, Renault and also McLaren now we're getting so much closer so still we're so far ahead and look look at the graph so we are the black line Alpha Tauri are the sort of dark blue line and you can see that we are just above them by around 510 performance so we're really close to them in a very weird way because I expect it to be a little bit further away from them maybe in front of them a little bit further ahead but I can't wait for the Chinese Grand Prix, so let's get into the Chinese Grand Prix. So 
So here we are for the Chinese short qualifying. Now it is light rain at the moment. I did not expect this to be coming, but I am thinking of accelerating the time a little bit so I can possibly get ahead. I don't want to go on the wet. I'm not too fast in the wet. So let's go and accelerate the time a bit so possibly we could have a couple of good laps in the end. So accelerating the time. I want to see, I want to only go out when it's sort of wet. That's sort of the time which I want to get out. When Sorry, not when it's wet, when it is dry. That's when I want to get out. You see, it's now dry. So this is very good for me that it is dry now. I'm sticking on fresh softs, loading my setup on. If you guys want to know what my setups are for every single track, that video will be coming out very soon. But here we go, Park Ferme, of course. But let's head out for our out lap. And for our first ever lap around China in my team, starting off the lap already, how good is our Sector 1 going to be? We've gone purple in Sector 1. How have we done that? How have we set faster Sector 1? I am just shocked right now, just at that. Oh my god, that, that was crazy. Novice is P18. Oh my god. Oh, this is this is weird. I'm not sure what's gone wrong with my game, but oh we've set faster sector two coming around the final corner and up to the line. We've just set fastest lap. No way. We just set fastest lap. And here we are on another lap. Again, purple through all sectors. Six tenths up. It's going to be enough for another fastest lap. Oh my god. Oh. That was shocking. Oh, I'm down to P4 now. So it looks like people are improving. But I'm going to push the time a bit further forward. I'm going to try and go out for a lap around now. Because uh, I want to see if I can get a good... I uh, want to get another good qualifying lap. But, oh, there's not enough time to go out. It won't be enough time. Oh, no. Oh, so I'm just going to push the time a bit further forward. So, there we go. At the end of qualifying, where will I be on this grid? I'm last. I'm last place. Oh, if I just left a bit of extra time... At the end of qualifying, I could have possibly been P15. It's so close, only nine tenths are spreading 20th, last place and 15th. Oh, I could have gotten better position, but Grosjean's 15th. Bottas is on pole, Hamilton second, and Charles Leclerc third. Shocking, Alex Albon is ninth. Oh my god, Lando Norris 11th, Esteban Ocon 12th. Oh my god, that was. So Oh, I don't know what went so wrong there in qualifying. But I guess it's time for the Chinese Grand Prix. So let's have a great qualifying and we could have a good race. It's time to find out which driver is up to the task of claiming the Chinese Grand Prix. We're here in Shanghai. We're here in the Yangtze River Delta today, home of the 16 corners that make up the Shanghai International Circuit. 54% of this 3.3 mile lap is taken at full throttle and we'll be getting up to speeds of around 200 miles an hour with DRS assisting the cars down the back straight before they break into the sharp hairpin at turn 14. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite an hour operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Carlos Sainz and Perez, Albon, Stroll, 
Norris and Esteban Ocon, Gasly, Kvyat, Sebastian Vettel and Grosjean, Magnussen, Ricardo, Antoine Hubert and Kimi Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Russell, Latifi and Schumacher. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Here we are for the Chinese Grand Prix, going straight into the strategy, it's soft to medium and I'm only giving myself one extra lap of fuel so I'm going to have to be very careful with the amount of fuel I use and what I don't, but let's go into the Chinese Grand Prix. Okay, could I have a good start? I need a really good start, P try and pick up one or two positions by the time the end of lap one, need something. Okay, it's, it's a good start. A little bit of wheel spin using overtake. You see, I've fallen a bit far behind. But it's three wide into turn one. Oh, Russell taking that inside line. I'm going to squeeze. Oh, right by... Oh, a little bit of contact with Hubert. A little bit of contact with Magnussen as well. But my wing is fine. Okay, that is good. But, oh my god, I got so squeezed. That was so tight there. Oh, I've, I, I don't think I've ever had something which was so tight. But, oh my god. I just went for the biggest dive. A little bit of contact with Kvyat. Kvyat, it's yellow flags, green flags again. Collision with Kvyat. I've gotten a warning. Can I go round the outside? No. I don't think I would have gotten round the outside anyway. But I'm going to go lay on the brakes. Am I going to make this move? Yes, I am. Locking up a bit. But I'm going to push Kvyat out and I'm up to P12. Just like in the Vietnamese Grand Prix. But what an amazing lap one. That was so good now, catching up to Gasly, still on lap one, using that overtake, catching up to Stroll as well. I'm going for the outside line, breaking later, and I've, I, am I going to do it? Am I going to make it? Yes, I have. Oh, oversteer. I've just, I've just overtaken Gasly and Stroll round the outside. I'm out of the OS. Lewis Hamilton has set fastest lap. Oh my God. What an absolute crazy opening lap to this race it's just that is so crazy I've n I've never had an opening lap like that going a little bit wide into turn two but I'm gonna try and keep up with uh, Ocon and Norris Norris not particularly having much pace he's sort of been a bit slow throughout qualifying a little bit slow throughout the race uh, just so far I think he's lost a position or two so it's actually not too great for Norris Ocon in front of me. I am keeping up with Ocon though. So it actually looks like it could be very close in this race. But I am P10 and already Lance Stroll is already 8 tenths behind. So I've already had a very good start. Last place to 10th. I don't know how I'm doing this. I, I just don't know. Okay, now we're going to go on to the long straight. This is going to be quick i'm gonna you see i take a lot of a tighter line to this long right hander compared to ocon and i've caught him up by about two tenths right now it's really caught him up by quite a lot using that overtake a bit earlier than him really using a lot of it uh, okay i'm letting off the overtake a little bit i need to save a bit of ers for later in this race i do need to save a little bit because if i don't I'm in a lot of trouble. Now I'm really close to Ocon here on lap 3. Of course, DRS is enabled on this lap. Ocon had a bit of a wobble. I've, of course, I got the best attraction off the exit. I'm going to go for the dive. Fastest sector 1 as well. Oh, my God. And, and I've done it. I'm up to P9. Can I catch Lando Norris now and overtake him? Oh, if I do that, that would just be absolutely crazy. I'm keeping close to Norris, but Ocon trying to make a move again. He's really close, Ocon. But am I going to have a good enough lap to possibly take the fastest lap of this race? But that Sector 1 was so good. That was so clean as well in Sector 1. But, ooh, going a little bit deep into that corner, locking up. I'm just really feeling the pressure from Ocon, of course. There is, of course, he is within DRS. He's within two tenths. Three tenths now, but still, he's close enough to make an overtake on me. So, am I going to stay ahead? Am I? I'm not too sure. And he's going to get past me. Am I going to go back for the dive? Oh, my God. I'm doing it again. I'm absolutely going for a massive dive. Side by side, who's going to come out in front going into the final corner? It looks like Ocon's using some overtake. I'm going to go around the outside. 
gone off track. Oh my god. You okay? I've got the DRS and I got the overtake. That was. We're having a really good battle here with Ocon. Ocon's really close. Oh, I've gone a little bit deep into the corner, bricked a little bit too late. I haven't got the right amount of downforce, but Ocon trying to make a move. It's so close between me and Ocon. We're almost side by side through this first sector. He's just so close to me. Just look at him. He's staying so close. He's definitely using overtake here. But who's going to have a better line and who is going to stay out in front? It looks like it will be me here on lap four. People are already pitting. Verstappen, Perez already in the pits. Sainz, Hamilton. And our pit strategy is open. I'm going to box this lap. So here we go into the pits. Oh, I've locked up heavily going into the pits. Oh, I might have slowed down a bit too early. I really did slow down a little bit too early. Possibly another 20 yards and I would have been fine. But am I going to come out in front of Ocon and, or even Ricardo? Who am I going to come out in front of? Norris, of course, already in front. Is Grosjean going to be in front of me? Okay, it was a 2.4 second pit stop, so it wasn't bad. But Sebastian Vettel, no! He's in front of me! Already he's gotten in front! Oh! That's not good because that's one position lost now. Oh, come on! If possibly yellow flags. There's yellow flags behind. It's one of the Williams! Could it be Latifi or will it be Russell? I'm not too sure who it will be. We'll just get confirmation in seconds. It's George Russell. There's a full safety car. This could give the people out in front, the people who haven't pitted yet, a chance. I'm having to slow down so much. Oh, I'm push. I'm just trying to catch back up. Oh, this isn't good. This may give my teammate a, an easy chance of getting out in front. I'm really pushing on the straight. Oh, this is this really isn't good. If I can't hold on here, I'm just oh, I'm really pushing. I really need to push to get out in front. You see, I'm having to slow down so much just to try and let the safety like keep at the right pace. But I'm oh, I'm pushing. Come on, come on. Who am I going to get out in front of? No, I'm behind Hubert and Magnussen. Ah, oh my god, one of the Alpha Tauris have also got in front of me. I think it's Gasly who's got in front of me, but safety car in this lap. I need to get past Hubert as quickly as possible, as he most likely will slow me down towards the end. Good start, a little bit of oversteer coming really close to Hubert. Oh, I've gone a little bit over on the track, using some overtake. I need to catch up to Hubert right now here on lap 9. See Ocon very close behind me, but he's on the hards. I just realised Ocon is on the hards, coming, woo, coming very close to my teammate Hubert. But he's got some good pace. But am I going to try and go for a dive into the same corner? I've dived a couple of people in this race. Am I or won't I? Here we go. Oh my God! That's just that's just the biggest dive of the year. That's just that's. That was massive. That was the biggest dive I have ever made, just from so far back as well. Magnuson, I've gone really wide now, but now up close to Magnuson. Am I going to do the same to Magnuson as I did to Hubert? Of course, Ocon has now gotten past Hubert, and now Giovinazzi. Looks like Giovinazzi has also gotten past Hubert, so not looking too great. Using overtake. A little bit closer to Magnuson, and I am going to go for the dive again, and a little bit of contact, but I am up into P11. Can I catch Sebastian Vettel right now? Will I catch Sebastian Vettel? He's only just over a second ahead of me. It is lap 10. I still have plenty of time to try and catch him. I still have just that bit of time. All I need, if I can, if I can catch him, that will be really good in this race. I'm not sure if I will. I, it's it's going to be really close. Also, I don't think we have DRS yet either. I don't think we have DRS just yet. But here we go, onto the straight. You see Magnussen, he's already about eight tenths behind me. He's so far behind. Nine tenths. He's nearly a second behind me altogether, using some more overtake just to make sure I stay ahead. 
Magnussen's now a whole second behind, so it looks really clear for me like I'm going to stay in P11, but will I catch locking up again into the hairpin? I'm not doing well with lockups. I'm just still, I just don't feel exactly comfortable on the brakes. I just feel like I should just uh, be able to brake a bit later than I am. But DRS is now enabled here on lap 11. Only a couple of laps to use it, but Vettel is already 1.4 seconds ahead. He's already going quicker. I don't think I have much of a chance coming towards the end of lap 12 now. I'm not sure if we can do well jumping the curve a bit, going over. That was, that, that just was a little bit cheesy, but still, Vettel, I'm not going to catch Vettel. It's the second to last lap. It's lap 13. I'm not going to catch him. He's already about three seconds ahead of me. Going really wide, you can just sit. I'm not going to catch Vettel, but Ocon may catch me with the amount of mistakes I'm making corner after corner. I'm just not having a good time with the car. The biggest issue I'm finding with the my team car, my car at the moment, is just tyre degradation. The amount of tyre degradation which comes on the car is just making me struggle in the final 3-4 laps of the race. I just start to struggle. Here we are, final lap now. What can I do? Am I going to be able to stay in front of Ocon? Now we're coming to the straight. Ocon is within a second of me. Oh my god, I'm just staying in front of him. Am I going to do well enough to stay in front or is he going to catch me with DRS? I think he was just outside of the DRS zone. But fastest lap set by Lewis Hamilton and Lewis Hamilton wins the Chinese Grand Prix. So that's two out of four for Hamilton back to back races. Mercedes still winning all of the four races all in this season as we come around the final corner jumping the curb a bit and it will be the toughest P11 I have ever had in my team or F1 2020. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. Victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So after one of the toughest races I have ever done, it's, it was just crazy. Antoine Hubert, 17th to 15th, so very good for Hubert, but George Russell, of course, DNFing. But Daniel Ricciardo goes from 16th to 20th, so Ricciardo and Renault not having a good day. Definitely that Renault is losing pace to especially uh, my team and also, of course, Alpha Tauri, they're losing time, they're not really getting any further in front, but of course, I'm P11, Hubert, P15, but Ocon, P12, and Giovinazzi is P13, P19 to P13, so a very good day for Giovinazzi, Vettel only 10th, ooh, but of course, I went from last to 11th, not 10, but 11 positions I gained in just this one race, over 14 laps, that was just one of the craziest races, of course. Pierre Gasly scores two points in this race. He just got ahead. If he didn't, if he wasn't ahead of me, I would have scored the first point for the team. But Lando Norris, eighth place as well. Very close between me and Ocon. We really had some really good fighting in this race. We kept it clean though, so it was very good across this entire race. Of course, Sergio Perez, also seventh, but me and Gasly, good fights. Also, I've had a couple of fights with like Vettel, Ocon, and a couple of different drivers. So it was really close when it came down towards the end of the race. Um, I just started to lose tyre degradation, which wasn't good. And I just started to struggle a bit. It wasn't easy. It really wasn't an easy race altogether. But I have to say, still, it was very close. Alex Alpon, sixth. 
Carlos Sainz stays fifth place, of course, but it's one two for Mercedes and it's third place for Charles Leclerc, but still in the driver standings. Valtteri Bottas still first and Lewis Hamilton still second, 15 points divide them. But Charles Leclerc is up to third and Max Verstappen is up to fourth. But Vettel has gone from third to sixth in the standings right now. So that is, that is just crazy. But down in 15th now, down all the way with just zero points still. Gasly, of course, getting some points. So I'm down to 15th. But... Hubert's down to 20th. He went from 19th to 20th in the standings. Hubert not having the best of starts, but we are still 8th in the constructors. But Red Bull are up to 3rd again, just 5 points away from Ferrari. So it is relatively very close between, still between 11th and 8th. It's still very close in performance. And Williams still proving themselves out there. So after such a good race, let's head back to the base. I swear that was the craziest race, but we have beaten Daniel Kivat, and I had the faster lap than Daniel Kivat, so I am winning our rivalry 8-7, to seven. so it is very close between us. Also, now of course, I'm getting close to level 4 of driver acclaim, and we're getting close to level 5 in the team acclaim as well, so it's really close. And we've also gotten our extra money as well. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please think about subscribing, leaving a like. And also tell me down in the comments down below if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And also please think about clicking on the notification bell to know when another video like this is also out. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this entire video and this series as well. I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.